Hello, my name is Claudia Vicente and I'm a GP in Portugal with a special interest in respiratory disease. I'm here today to talk a little bit about chronic bronchitis. Chronic bronchitis is a generic term to talk about some diseases that affect bronchially in a chronic way. I would like to talk a little bit more about COPD and iphysema, which are one of the most common and important. COPD is a very common disease. It's underdiagnosed because sometimes patients don't complain about the symptoms or sometimes because healthcare providers don't ask about it. It's important to value uh, some symptoms such as dyspnea, cough, some tiredness that has improved in order to make the diagnosis. It's a preventable disease because it's mainly provoked by some risk factor with which the, the individual is, is, um, is exposed, like tobacco. It's one of the main causes, but other causes can be biomass, for example, some firewoods that, open, that can be open at home, some people that cook uh, directly with fire, and at the workplaces, some, uh, some people can be exposed to that too. It's important to, to, to talk with patients about uh, dependence of tobacco, uh, because not only of this disease, but it's one of the most important that is caused by tobacco. Which are the clinical symptoms? I've talked a little bit about that. The cough, it can be persistent or intermittent, and it frequently uh, appears during the day, and it's less fre frequent that uh, is just during the night, so it's all across the day. The dyspnea. The dyspnea is one of the, the main symptoms that uh, can call us to the attention to COPD. It's persistent and is progressive because this disease can be treated in what concerns the symptoms and progression, but we cannot revert the, the damage that it's done already. The Disney worsens with exercise and sometimes worsens when the disease is not controlled or when we have some exacerbations that can be also provoked by infections. The cough that I've talked to you before, it has uh, sometimes it has some sputum and the sputum can have any pattern, but if we have um, some uh, darkness in the sputum or some mucoperlant uh, characteristics, we have to think a little bit about an infection that can appear. Others can include some fatigue, some wheezing. Some of them can be more weak with some weight loss. How can we do the diagnose? The diagnose has to be made by clinical symptoms, by these exposure factors that I've talked to before, and some spirometry. Patients should perform a spirometry which should show an obstructive value uh, in the reason FEV1, FVC under uh, 70% after the bronchodilation proof. I would, I would like to talk a little bit about the um, which are the main uh, alarm symptoms. When I have a patient um, in our appointments or, or when uh, he goes to the pharmacy, because sometimes the pharmacist and the nurse can help uh, a lot. They are, they are part of the healthcare team that takes care of the patients. If a pharmacist sees uh, a patient who has more wheezing or more tightness or more cough, or the sputum of the cough has changed, it's important to, to approach the, the patient and try to understand what is going on, if he's doing the correct medication, the correct inhaler technique, and to tell the patient to, to look for, medical, for a medical appointment in order to, to take care of this exacerbation or to control again, to adapt a new medication. Thank you so much.